I'm going to be opening up 25 of the new Tracy McGrady takeover packs in NBA 2K23 my team to see if we can maybe hit some good T-Mac pulls like his Galaxy pull or his Radiant Dark Matter or maybe potentially pulling his Invincible card. So if you guys don't know how to get these packs, you get them from every single game mode you win a game in. So as you guys can see in the bottom left, after every single win in most game modes, you will get a free Tracy McGrady takeover pack, which does have a chance of a Tracy McGrady card ranging from a Sapphire all the way to his Invincible version. And then you can also get like the jerseys from the Rockets. You can also get some logos. So I'll be opening up 25 of these packs because I, I grinded them all out in Triple Threat Offline. Actually, it doesn't take you that long to do, and you can get a ton of these packs and actually make a decent amount of MT. But let's just get right into it. 25 packs to get through. Hopefully, we can get some good pulls. I haven't really even opened any of these because I've been saving them, saving them for this video. I think that's going to be the Sapphire T Mac. It'd be kind of cool if we can maybe pull most of the versions as we are going to get his Sapphire card. So let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys been grinding this event? Have you guys saved up a ton of packs? Have you guys pulled anything good? Is that going to be is that going to be his pink diamond? It actually is. I mean, not terrible to get his sapphire and his pink diamond back to back because I heard a lot of people were pulling jersey cards, you know, pulling logos, stuff like that. So the fact we're actually getting players is not terrible. We do get a T-Max shoe there. I mean, once again, it's free MT. I want to quickly check. Can you sell these cards on the auction house? Because if you can actually sell them, that's not bad because you can actually make a decent amount of MT. I'm sure the card's price will probably go down a crazy amount. Yeah, so you can actually sell these cards. That's not terrible. So the fact that you the fact that you can sell whatever you pull is actually great. So if you hit something good, like let's say you get really lucky and hit an invincible T-Mac, I mean you can actually sell them for MT, which is really nice. I thought these packs were gonna be unauctionable. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys pulled anything good out of these T-Mac takeover packs? Have you guys hit the dark matter? Have you guys got the radiant or the invincible version? I'm sure it's really hard to pull them. Like, I'm sure it's probably like a 1% chance of actually seeing, you know, that dark matter glow for the radiant or the invincible version as you're most likely just going to get these shoe packs like we've still only got the sapphire t-mac and the pink diamond one so that, that's the one thing i will say is i wish it was a guaranteed player because the fact that you can grind out all of these games and you can just get jerseys i mean yeah they do quick sell for 400 mt so it's going to be free mt and probably the best way to make mt right now in my team is grinding out for these packs because everything has value you know whether you're quick selling like even a t-max sapphire does quick sell for 700 mt so to get that out of a pack really isn't that bad and it adds up over time but we want to see some better pulls we're going to get a gold you know rockets arena once again, 400 MT, you can also maybe list it up on the auction house and it might sell, but I think it's a good event no matter what. Yes, it would have been a lot cooler and a lot better if you were actually guaranteed to get a T-Mac player card, like his Sapphire or his, I don't know if he even has a Ruby, but if you're guaranteed, uh, guaranteed to get an actual T-Mac card, I think that's what they should do in the future going forward. I think it would make it a lot more worth grinding for than just getting these shoe packs. But once again, it's an event in 2K in season eight that I don't think many people expected to see, at least me personally, I wasn't even expecting to see any free content, you know, in season number eight. So I'm not mad at it. It's free MT. Yes, it could be a lot better of an event. It can be, you know, only player cards and, you know, maybe not have so many arenas and jerseys. That could obviously be a ton better, but I still think it's a cool event. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions, you know, on it as well. I wanted to get you guys this video to see if I could maybe pull a good Tracy McGrady card. But with how bad these odds are, I'm not even sure if the Dark Matter is even in these packs because, like, how many are you going to have to open up to see a Dark Matter glow? Like, you're probably going to have to open up what? 100 200 300 just to potentially see a dark matter and then it to be the radiant version because we can't even pull that actually jersey sells for a lot of mt i'm not gonna lie or at least it used to sell for a lot of mt that raptors uh, kind of dinosaur uniform the purple one but like i thought we would see some galaxy opals maybe by now i thought we potentially see some i'm not really sure what the other cards are i know he has like the pink diamond from the ice set I know he has the Galaxy Sopa out of position, so I was kind of expecting to see, you know, more Tracy McGrady pulls as we are getting some Sapphires, but I was more so expecting to see some high rep pulls and just get more Tracy McGrady cards, but I still wanted to get you guys this video just to show you guys what you guys can actually get from these packs, and I mean, once again, it's free MT, not really getting the pulls I was expecting to, obviously it can be a ton better. I do like the fact that it is auctionable though, I thought it was going to be all on auctionable stuff. So the fact that you can actually sell these cards does make it a little bit more worth grinding for. But yeah, we're going to rip through like 25 of these packs. And I don't think we're even going to pull, you know, a Galaxy Opal version, which is a little bit disappointing. But I mean, I guess it's free stuff. It's free MT. You can't complain too much. I mean, 
from these 25 packs. I'm not really sure how much MT I would have made, but maybe like 10,000, 15,000 MT just from quick selling stuff, probably around like 10K. That's not that bad from like quick selling these jerseys or selling these jerseys. And then, yeah, this is what I pulled like player wise was just mainly the Sapphires and that one pink diamond pull. Got a couple of jerseys, a couple of arenas. I mean, you can make some extra MT while you're just grinding game modes. I don't think it's necessarily a bad event because it's free stuff. It's free MT. So I'm not going to sit here and complain and say it's terrible because I think it's actually great. I mean, it's free MT, 2K giving us free content and giving us a chance at a Dark Matter pull. It just looks like the odds are going to be very hard to actually see anything good out of these packs. But like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys been grinding for these packs? Do you guys have a bunch saved up? Are you going to open up them? And let me know if you guys have pulled anything crazy, whether it's the Radiant Dark Matter version, or maybe you guys hit the Invincible T-Mac. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.